Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I'm going to give you a quick look at Luminar on an Android tablet. Now you probably already know that you could get Luminar Neo for a Windows computer or a Mac. What you may not know is that Luminar is also available for an iPhone, an iPad, Vision Pro, a Chromebook, and recently it's now available for Android smartphones and Android tablets. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Luminar on an Android tablet. Now, as you can see, I have my Android tablet here. I have Luminar open. There's a number of different ways you could access images. You could go to your photo gallery and just select any image that is in your photo gallery, or you could go file to your file manager. That could be your Google Drive or anywhere that you have images on your tablet, or you could take a photo and then just immediately edit that photo in Luminar. Now I'm going to go to File Manager. I have it going to a specific folder on my Google Drive and I'm going to edit a couple different images in today's video. I'm going to do a landscape and then I'm going to do another image that has people in it. So I'm just going to do this landscape image first. Now it's downloading it from my Google Drive and it will open it up into Luminar. Now over on the left hand side of the screen from the top you have a crop tool. And then below the crop tool, you'll have an eraser. So you could remove things, unwanted things from an image that could be sensor spots or dust, or it could even be something large. Like if I wanted to remove the statue, I could do that. Uh, below that, we have the actual editing tools. Below that, we have these really cool film looks. And below that, we have sky replacement. So we could replace skies in Luminar for Android. Now I'm going to go to the edit tools on this image and on the right hand side are all the tools. We have enhance AI. We could just, if we're in a hurry, move this to the right to enhance the image, but I'm not going to do that. Then below that we have light adjustments. Now this is an underexposed image and if you've ever saw any of my videos that I have on YouTube, I have a specific way that I edit images that are either underexposed or overexposed. For this specific image, because it's underexposed, what I would do is I would take highlights all the way down, shadows all the way up, then I would go to exposure and I'd move that up until it looks like it's properly exposed. Then I'll get a white point and a black point. I'll move the whites up. And you'll notice at the top as I move a control, it's showing the actual amount you're moving that specific control for now I'll move the black slider down you'll notice it says blacks minus 22. Now below that we have contrast I don't think I need to do anything with contrast I think I accidentally hit my black slider there we go anyway we have contrast I don't like really doing anything with contrast so I'm going to leave that below that we have color this is white balance I don't need to do anything with that we have saturation I do want to make it a little more saturated so I'm going to move this to the right you can see we could affect vibrance by going up or down saturation left or right it's kind of a cool control Below this, we have Structure AI. We could move this to the left to make it like softer, more ethereal. We can move it to the right to make it like a little more HDR looking, a little more like, like I don't know, bite to it. I don't think I want that though. I'm just going to leave Structure at zero. Then when we have Relight AI, we have the foreground and the background. So if I move this top one, I'll start to affect the brightness that is far away. Uh, in the image. You can see how that affects the brightness far away. To reset a slider back to its default position, just double tap on it and you'll just reset it to its default position. I do want to make the, like the, like it in the background a little darker, but you'll notice how it's also making part of the grass darker. That's where this like wheel comes in. So I could move where the depth is with this. So I could pull it away. You can see how it's pulling it away from the grass as I move the wheel clockwise. And this other slider here is for the foreground. But I have the background a little too dark, so I'll readjust that. I think that looks pretty good. Then we have a vignette. 
and I like to put darker vignettes on my image. So we'll put a darker vignette on there. And then because this doesn't have a person in it, of course, we have, it doesn't have, it can't find a person for skin AI or body AI. It has some landscape controls. These are similar to what's in Luminar Neo. This top one is foliage enhancer. This one here is dehaze. And this one here is golden hour. So we'll move those. Then we have uh, details. We have small, medium, and large. You can see small and medium are on a wheel together. So if I want to increase small details, I can move this around clockwise and you'll see that it will kick in and really enhance the small details i'll double tap it to reset it medium details similarly we can move that to the right you can see how that's affecting medium details double tap on that to reset it large details same thing clockwise to make it stronger counterclockwise to make it weaker i'm not going to do anything with details on this i am going to sharpen it though that's the slider below so we'll sharpen it now, if I wanted to convert this to black and white, I could do that as well. I could see that's monochrome with a cyan filter. That's monochrome with red, with yellow, with green, with magenta, and with blue. I think we'll just stay with color. Now, I'm satisfied with this image. I like it. So what I could do now is hit this in the top left-hand corner, hit this back arrow, and I could save it to the gallery. I could share it with the world. I could just cancel and re-edit, or I could just discard changes. I'll save it to the gallery. And you can see that it's saving. It has that little wheel at the top spinning, and it's going to return us to the start screen. Okay, we're going to go back to File Manager, and I'm going to then choose that one image that I mentioned has people in it. And we'll edit this image. And this, I'll show you a few more of the controls in uh, Luminar for Android Tablet. Now, for this one, I think I want to crop it. So I'm going to go to the Crop tool, and I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to choose what type of crop. I'm going to go with a square crop, and I think I'll move them over this way a little bit, like that. And I like that. I think that's fine. When I'm ready to commit to the crop, I hit the check mark in the top right-hand corner. If I want to abandon the crop, I'd hit the X in the left-hand corner. So we'll click there. Now we have a little bit of a tree branch in the top left-hand corner coming in the screen. So I'm going to get the eraser tool. We could change the size of the eraser with this slider here. And then we'll just paint on that area there. And you can see it's gone. And now we'll pick the little click or tap the little check mark and get back to the regular screen. Now we're going to go to do our edit. Now with our edit here, I think I want to just open up shadows a little more. Quite a bit actually. Bring highlights down a little bit. Get a white point. And a black point. Contrast. I'm going to pull contrast down a little bit. I don't need to do anything with color. I think we'll make it a little more saturated. I think with structure, I'm going to move this and get some like negative structure. Structure. I just wanted a little more ethereal looking with people in it. I don't think I need to do anything with relighting. Now, one thing I don't care for, and it's the same way with Luminar Neo on a uh, Mac or, an I, or a Windows computer, is with vignette. It's not a post-crop vignette. It's a pre-crop vignette. So if I put a dark vignette on, you'll notice it's not cropping the left and right sides on the square image. It's cropping to the original 3 to 2 ratioed image. And it does that in Neo, too, and I really uh, don't care for that. So we will put a little bit of a vignette on there. Now, with um, Skin AI, because it did find people in it, you could see the controls are active. This little uh, like bump right in the middle is like a blemish removal. Just tap that on, and it will remove any blemishes that it finds. And then you could smooth the actual amount with the amount slider. And then you could get rid of shine. You could see like the shine on their cheeks. You could get rid of that with this slider. And that's more of a subtle adjustment. But you see how it eliminate, eliminated the shine nicely. Do we have body AI? I don't 
ever do body AI, uh, where you could slim someone down if you wanted to, or maybe if they asked, maybe you'd do that. But personally, I don't care for that. Uh, with landscape, uh, I am going to go to the foliage enhancer and move that to the right a little bit. I'm not going to do anything with details because I don't want to um, sharpen their skin or anything like that. Uh, so I'm not going to do anything there. And I like it in color, so I'm not going to do anything in monochrome. And that's my very quick edit uh, on an image that has people in it. So uh, this is the first iteration of uh, Android for tablet. I haven't used it on an Android smartphone because I don't own an Android smartphone, but I would suspect it works similarly. So you could download it from uh, wherever you get your apps from. Was it uh, the Google uh, Play Store? Is that what they call it? I'm not even from up on these things. But you could download it and try it out for yourself and uh, see if it works for you. I think it's pretty cool. I think that you're going to be seeing a lot more enhancements coming to it in the very near future. A lot more types of controls. Um, and uh, I will be doing more videos on it. And I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.